Hello and um, welcome to Draw With Me, our name is Leslie Watson and today we are going to be drawing Crash Bandicoot. Everybody loved Crash whenever I was growing up. Uh, it was one of the go-to games just because it was a great platform game. So yeah, um, hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz, follow me on social medias. And well, yeah, let's get into this. So, as always, we start off with a circle, and then instead of really getting into it, uh, like into the eyes or anything, I went straight for the, the kind of the lower part of the face because it is, it bulges out quite a bit. And now you can see I'm working on the eyes there. Now, the eyes, one's bigger than the other because of the reference photo, but it's also because of perspective because he's kind of like at the side. You'll notice that, when, especially when you start coming along, drawing different angles on, like, not just uh, characters from video games or cartoons or anime, but also you'll get that in real life as well. So, as you can see, I'm putting in kind of the guidelines for the body and putting in you know the guidelines where the arms and hands are going to be again actually with crashes fingers usually i say they look like sausages which they, they generally do but they're kind of more rectangular and yeah i'm gonna put in quite a bit of detail i know already excuse the video quality of this camera as well uh today because i don't know what setting it was on for some reason but it is actually pretty cool. Uh, don't forget to leave me a wee comment in uh, the comment sections whether you like it or not. Uh, now it does change back to like the normal settings uh, once it start hitting into the colouring. But I think just for the pencil work it's actually pretty cool. So don't forget also if you are struggling, pause the video and you know draw away. My hands aren't always in shot so that's why I like to uh, kind of move my hands away, take a wee kind of a wee break, just so then you can see that. Now you can see I'm already starting to get into the ink in part here. So already you might already notice that I made a wee mistake in the eye there. Now if you watch right kind of towards the more the end of the video. Uh, I kind of brought in the same kind of style I also used with the Detective Pikachu. If you haven't checked out that video, it will be up there. Uh, where I bring out the white, crack out the white pencil and I just go over a few wee details and highlight a few wee things as well. It's always a nice wee, you know, it complements your artwork very well if you can, you know, pull something out like that. It was also how whenever I was doing the lines for crashes, kind of, you know, fur and stuff like that, especially around the fingers and stuff like that. I actually didn't just do one continuous line, I did lots of little lines, and that just gives them the effect of fur. Now, there we go, my favourite part, always whenever you rub out the pencil marks, and there you are, you're left with the final, you know, what you've sketched. And there we go, this is getting into the colouring now. Notice how I'm putting in all the base colours. This is kind of an essential thing uh, whenever you're coming with the colouring and inking. Uh, it's simple, it's easier to go from uh, easier to darken down rather than to lighten up because uh, without the help of a white pen or a white pencil you know there's kind of no redos once you start inking
So yeah, my camera did that strange thing of darkening down again, so you can't really see where I'm going over with the pencils and stuff, you know, to add in a bit more texture to the likes of Crash's fur. But you do see whenever I crack out the brown and white pencil, the kind of highlights that actually come into it. Uh, so yeah, don't forget uh, the experiment as well, you know, this is always really fun thing to do, whether it be mixed medias. Like, I'm put down a layer of markers and then going over it with pencil, which, you know, it, a tried and tested method, it works. Uh, but don't be afraid to, you know, be a bit more experimental if you really want to, you know, with paints, markers, you know, it's just anything that you have lying around. People paint with coffee, you know what I mean? So don't be afraid to experiment. And there we have it. Yeah, I drew a background for this, but I never coloured it. I just thought it would be a nice wee touch to throw in there as well. Uh, I'm not big on doing backgrounds, but it was it was just too handy not to do. Anyway, so don't forget to send me what you've been drawn and. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, share with all your friends. And I hope you've all enjoyed this as well. Don't forget to hit me up on social media, show me what you have been drawn. And yeah, have fun and stay safe out there, guys.